Hi, Greg Hughes here from 90 Second Website Builder. I want to show you something that's really handy, a great tool or feature that you can use when you're building your website with this great software. Sometimes when you're designing your site, there will be certain elements on your pages that you'll find you are putting on a lot of pages, like maybe even all of your pages. And so the work can get kind of repetitive. So for example, I'm looking here at a website I'm designing for Blackwire Hosting, and one of the things that I'm going to have on all of the pages of this website, pretty much all of them, is this top section here. We'll just call this my header. I have several elements in this header. I've got a logo. I've got a certain kind of a menu here. This happens to be a mega menu, which is picking up its um, style from the page theme. And then I've got this little piece of text with a phone number. So three objects here that I'm really going to want throughout my website everywhere. So here are some other pages, and I haven't put this on these pages yet. As you can see, this area is empty up here on these three pages. So I have a couple of options. One of the things I could do is I could just copy and paste. I mean, that's not horrible. And I would do that by selecting these things. I'm going to select, hold down shift and select again so I can multiple select. So I've selected these three objects. I can do a control C and copy and then go on to these other pages and paste them in place. In fact, pasting is different than pasting in place. I'll show you what I mean. If I was to paste, that object would kind of fall in a random spot and I really want it up here. But when you paste in place, it goes in the exact spot as the original one you copied. So I could do that. Now that would be really handy if I only had a few pages to do. That's fine. And now I've got that on every page. But the problem is, I'm not going to just have a few pages. What if one day my phone number changes and I have to go back and change that on all 70 pages? Well, wouldn't it be nice if we could actually just make one of these and have it appear on all of our pages and as we update it, have it automatically update on all of the rest of the pages. Well, that can be done. And that we call a master page object. So let me show you how that gets set up. So what we're going to do, first we have to create a page that we're going to use to store this master page object. I usually just create a page called master. It's not a page that anyone's ever going to visit. It's a page on your website that stores the objects that you're going to use and associate with all of your other pages. I'm going to bring the site manager over a little bit and in fact move the camera over so you can see I've actually created a page in my project called master. It's a blank page, there's nothing on it, and I'm going to use it to store that header thing. Okay, so now that I've got it here in my canvas area, up here in the tab, we can bounce around a little easier. So here's the index page where I had this stuff. I'm going to take this off of here. I'm going to select Shift and select, shift and select. Now I've selected all three of these. This time I'm going to cut it, not copy it. I'm doing a control X to remove it from this page. Now it doesn't appear on any of my pages, but I am going to put it on my master page. I'm doing a control. Actually, we'll do a right click paste in place. So it goes right to where I wanted it to. First thing you notice is this menu doesn't look right, does it? Well, that's because, remember I said this is a mega menu and it picks up its style from the page that it's on. Well, this is no longer on the page that had that style. But not to worry, that's gonna work out in a minute and I'll show you. So don't worry if you're using something that uses a page style, we'll fix that very easily. So now let's recap, here's what I have. I have some pages on my website that are missing the object across the top, the objects across that I want and they are now being stored on a page called master. Here's all I have to do. On these pages, I go down here and I grab an object. It's in the advanced area, but it's really not that complicated. I'm grabbing the master object right here, and I'm gonna draw a box where I want my master object to appear. I'm gonna just draw this box up here, and kind of, it, it can just be approximate. This doesn't have to be exact. The software is gonna help me now I'm going to double click on this blank area and it brings up the master objects properties. All I have to do is tell the software where my master page is. So I'm going to go select. There's my master page. Click OK. OK. And now I've brought over the object. And by the way, you'll notice it is now one object. It's not three separate things. This is a master page object. This information on my index page is coming from the master page. 
There it is on the master page. There it is on the index page. Again, this is the wrong format, isn't it? Because it's not picking up the page theme that I want it to. Don't worry about it. What it's doing is it's responding to the master page where there is no theme. And I have a, I could change that theme over there, but I don't really need to because here's what happens. When I click F5 and test this, you'll see that the theme shows up just fine. It's just absolutely fine and it would work just great. Okay, so now I'm going to close this preview. Even though you don't see it, don't worry about it. You can always hit F5. I'm going to go to plans and I'm also going to put this master page object over here. I don't have to keep drawing the master page object. Here's where I can copy paste. I'm going to take this and go control C. And now I'm going to do a paste in place. Do it again here. Paste in place. Do it again here. Paste in place. And now my master page object is on every one of these pages. You might say, oh yeah, but you still had to do all that copying pasting. Well, that's true, but guess what? We only had to do it once. Because now, if I want to change any of this, all I have to do is go to my master page, change this one, and it will be reflected on all my other pages. Because all of these pages are getting this information from the same place. It's coming from the master page. So let's try that. So again, here's my index page. I can't edit this object here. I go to the master page object. So let's just do that. Let's make a change here just for fun. I'm going to change this to something obviously different. One, two, three. And let's say our phone number changed. I only have to change it on the master page. I'm going to click save. To save that page. Now watch what happens when I go back to my other pages. Well, what do you know? I don't have to do anything. And on every page, here's the support page. Here's the How It Works page. Everything was automatically updated because it all came from the master page. That's great. So here's the thing. Master pages are really, really simple. Once you set one up like this, you're set. So that's basically how a master page object works. And you want to use your master page objects sparingly. You, you want to make sure you, they aren't huge or that they aren't covering up something else on your website. So for example, if this master page object was on top of say some other navigation, um, it can it can block that because the master page object always sits on the very top layer of the page. So you just want to be careful that you don't make them too big or cover a whole page with them. You might use a master page object just for your header and, and then another one say just for your footer. So use them carefully. You don't want to overuse master page objects, but you can use more than one. But if you play with and learn how to use the master page objects, uh, just with a little bit of experimentation, you'll find it can save you hours and hours of time, especially as you build a website that begins to grow to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pages. You can manage one object all in one place um, without having to copy paste a million times every time something changes. It's a great feature that will help you really get your website built in a timely way as you're using 90 Second Website Builder.